Alright, what's up people? This is Sifurian. Right now we're going to be jumping into episode 6 of series 3 of The Boys. So, going into this one, I know it's meant to be a big one. Uh, apparently there were warnings put on Twitter and everything. Actors have been talking about it. So, I'm expecting like some major what the fuck moments. But, at the same time, I've also heard that it's like really overhyped. Like, it's not really a big deal. Um, but this episode is called Herogasm, so obviously there's going to be like some big superhero soup orgy or something. But with it being this show, like who knows where it's going to go and you know, um, <laughs> with what we've seen up to now. Anyway, so last time basically it looks like Butcher and Huey has teamed up with uh, Soldier Boy who had turned up to kill his, his old lover. Because uh, it turns out she apparently knew that he was kidnapped and took to Russia and, you know, experimented on or whatever. And and he was expecting her and the guys to come and save him, but they didn't. So so the whole plot kind of thickens. Who set him up? Who planned it? Who arranged it? Who got paid, I guess, you know? But Annie Starlight isn't happy with the situation that, that Huey's going to be working with a, a killer. And M.M. as well. M.M. ain't happy because... Butcher had to freaking knock him out. You know, he drugged him and shit. Other things, his A-Train, his brother, got wounded because of this blue cock dude. What's kind of weird that I kind of predicted that a while ago, like I was saying about how, because of that, that whole scene where they were sat on the porch and they were talking about the, the guy down the street, like he was just walking home from work and this guy attacked him and this and that and, and killed him and everything. I, I, I said, something's going to happen to his brother. Because I've showed him now with his family, with the kids and something. Maybe something similar will happen. His brother will get injured. That will compel A-Train to actually do something. And it didn't really happen the way I said it was going to. But technically it did. His brother got injured. And so A-Train needs to stop with being political. And trying to do things legit. And just go and fuck the guy up. You know what I mean? Well I'm quite shocked that he hasn't done it yet. To be honest. Oh, and also, shit, almost forgot, man. Maeve and Butcher also hooked up. Um, like, obviously, it's not really going to go nowhere. It's not going to be like a relationship and everything. But I kind of like the idea of them two having a connection. You know what I mean? Not necessarily like friends with benefits. It's, it's enemies with benefits, isn't it? Um, <laughs> only reason they're working together is because they've got a greater enemy, they've got a greater threat, but I kind of like the idea of them two maybe being on the same page, but hands down, the best couple in the whole entire show is, is Kamiko and Frenchie, like, let's be honest, them two are absolutely fucking adorable together, but in, like, the last episode, she must have had, like, another fantasy about being able to sing and, and, and everything, but if she fantasizes about singing, but yet she can't talk, maybe th that's what she wants to do. She wants to sing, but yet because she can't talk, she can't sing, you know? So she's fantasizing about it. But they had this whole entire dance routine what was absolutely amazing. And at the end, they kissed. And Frenchie kind of like... It, it looks like he bailed, to be honest. But we know that he basically got grabbed by, by Nina and everything. But from Kamiko's standpoint, she was still sat in the bed, like, waiting for him to come back, you know? So I don't know if she's gonna, I don't know, maybe regret kissing him or, or something. Like, maybe she thinks that he's he's gone now because, you know... Oh, my God, I keep, I keep forgetting stuff. Maeve has also been kind of, like, took away by Black Noir. He kind of popped up um, and uh, Annie was asking, like, where she was, if she was still alive. So I... I I think Maeve would have been put where Starlight was, like, last season. Was it last season or was it Series 2? They're all bleeding into each other right now, man. <laughs> it was last season, weren't it? Because Lamplighter had to go into the base and help Huey, like, rescue her. Because, like, yeah. So, maybe Maeve is in the same place or maybe they've got, like, a different location now. Um, but we need to save Maeve. Yeah, I'm just... I'm kind of intrigued to see how extreme this is going to be. If it is, it could be... Like I said, I've heard it's just overhyped. Um, but who knows, man. We're going to get into this. Episode 6. If you're interested in the full length or all the full length for any of the episodes from all the way back to Series 1, links are all down below. Go check those out. But for now, Episode 6, Series 3. 
Ah, let's do this, man. Well, the past few days have got me feeling a little, um, well, philosophical. Uh, these supervillain attacks, they've affected everyone. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. A book for sale. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us, only sky. Imagine. Wow, okay. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday. Wow, okay. Seth Rogen made a few phone calls of friends, yeah? <laughs> No, it's impossible. He died like 40 years ago. Someone's cosplaying? Look at his face. All right, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. We dominate the news cycle. I will call Haberman. We'll message that we got Soldier Boy totally under control. Shut I'll... up. Oh my God, if this gets out. The company's fucked. I'm fucked. Oh God, if the company falls, I fall. Wow. It's like Stan Edgar said, like, like you're going to wish I was still in charge, like cleaning up shit. Why would he kill Coons and Connors? He was your team leader. You have any idea? <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, he took out his tracker. Oh shit, is he loyal to fucking Soldier Boy? Because that's the only thing I can think of. Like, he's gone back to his old team leader, right? You want payback on payback, don't you? Well, it just so happens that we are experts. You see, it's a whole different world out there now, son. We're here to help you find your way. Well, I can find them on my own. Uh, do you know what a GPS is? Or, or Bluetooth? Or yeah. I mean, the internet? You made those words up. No, 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 those are real <laughs> words. Um, and, and you need those to find them. All right, you need us. It is true, man. And all we ask in return is that you add one more name to the list. A right cunt named Homelander. I've seen pictures, but why him? Let's just say you're not the only one who wants payback. All right. You help me find the rest of my team, and I'll help you with this Homelander. <sighs> Do you like... Is Black Noir going back to his team leader or is he on the run? <sighs> what did I say? She's going to regret it. She thinks he's just bailed on her and stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, she's human now, so she can't really. Oh, God. My brother is paralyzed. I want some fucking justice. Seriously? Justice. Yeah. You want justice? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I have spent over a hundred hours in crisis management meetings, specifically figuring out how to cover up your bullshit, including all three of your straight up murders while you were out in the club with your crew or getting your toe sucked by Popclaw, who let's not forget, you also murdered. Yeah, that's right. I know about that. You did not give a shit about all the collateral you caused then. Mm. Now all of a sudden you care? Because it happened to you? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's right. I said that out loud. <laughs> I don't like her, but she is speaking facts. She is like, you've done all this shit and now something's hit you personally. You want to kick and scream about it? I get it. But she... H.A. needs to say fuck it and go and track him down personally and fuck him up, you know? No, he... He, he, he wouldn't... Not noir. He, he wouldn't run. Well, he wouldn't do that to me. He, would, he wouldn't run. But you wouldn't out of allies, man. We think Crimson Countess was just the start. We think he's going after his whole team, including noir. The good news is that means we know where he's probably headed next. The twins, TNT, they're the closest. You go there, and you check it out. Hey, that was amazing. Yeah, but you know, I didn't need you to jump in there like that. I had the whole thing. Hey, hey. I'm just trying to help. 
I don't like her, man. There's something very um, manipulating about her. I made a long face, Tiger. Oh, okay. But I can't handle him. Oh, you can handle him? Hey. Hey. When we were kids, alone in the bedroom, I got us through it, right? And now, I'll get us through this. What if Edgar's right? What if it was a mistake to take over Vaud and then... I am just talented. They all know I'm a fraud. Now, what do you care what a bunch of mud people think? Tell me the real reason. I want to hear you say it. Say it! I want them to love me. Gutsy! Only it never seems to work out, does it? So why do you keep running headfirst into the same brick wall? I don't know. Pants on fire, you know. It's because deep down there's a part of you that is still human. No. A dirty, shriveled, anemic little part of you that still mules for approval and love and a mommy and a daddy and oh, boo, woo, woo. Look at me, Tiger. Look at me. We gotta cut that part of you out like a cancer. Well then, my boy, you can finally be who you were always meant to be. Pure, like marble. Wow, Anthony Starr, man. I keep saying it, but he's outstanding. Outstanding. It was like a conversation between two different actors, you know what I mean? And the one of them you actually started feeling sympathy for. Just, oh my God, he's so damn good. Do men really walk around like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, dads do. Okay, well, <laughs> Bill Cosby is America's dad, and i tell you one thing, he would be caught dead in that pussy gear. Lots to unpack there. Uh, <clears throat> that's a real man. <laughs> Holy shit, did he make some strong drinks. Wow. <laughs> that's so fucked up. No! <laughs> His body is a masterpiece, no? Do you know the story behind this one? Bar fight on the Basque ghost. This, this is my favorite. When Sergei was 14 years old, he dropped a glass. His father told him to kneel in the shards and not move until he said so. Little Sergei did not shift an inch. Not even after his father left to get drunk and pass out in the whorehouse. Oh, please, don't cry for Sergei. He loves to be punished when he's bad. So, Sherry? No. Or Kimiko? Don't do this! Nino! You must choose, Sergei. The fuck? Choose. No! Oh, shit. She's not a soup, so she has to be careful now. Kimiko, run! She ain't gonna run, man. No! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're dead, mate. You're fucked. You're just gonna bleed out. Oh. All that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Nina's gone. Uh, even even as human, she still ends up being covered in blood. Grandpa, Grandpa, it's Soldier Boy. Come look. Soldier Boy takes the bends and he hurls it through our house like a fucking freight train. It missed me by about six inches. But my grandpa, one minute he was there, and then he wasn't. Wow. And I woke him up. I put him in that spot. That is not. Hey, that's when this whole OCD shit started. I mean, I don't understand it. All I know is that if I didn't check the burners three times a night, Soldier Boy would come back and kill the rest of us. Still getting up in the middle of the night, checking the burners. As if I don't, Soldier Boy is going to come back. Wow. And he's going to kill my family. I got to get this motherfucker out of my head. And in this. Fuck man, this fucking show. This show is just. 
It's so good, man. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. As I say that. <laughs> Once a year, mm -hmm. a bunch of C-listers get together at one of their places. They get their wicks wet. Hero gas, man. Mm -hmm. I get it. Poor Frenchie. Yeah. He's always wanted to see this. He's going to be heartbroken. <laughs> we have to get these people out. What up, bro? The fuck did this motherfucker put on my oh jacket? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh shit! Lick it up, you yummy brown bear. <laughs> I need a bathroom right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I found it in '52. Me and this other soup, Liberty. Man, was she a firecracker? <laughs> French is gonna be up, bro, and he missed this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hot. Oh. God, your legs go on for days. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Is, what is the he... fuck? Yeah, okay. I was just gonna say. Why would you ask? Homelander is gonna love this. No, 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 wait, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Hey, I know you like fucking soups, but I'm off the table. It's not why I'm here, okay? Whatever, Pornhub. I don't have time for you right now. You got powers now. You never apologized for Robin. Says you want to do this right now? Yeah, I do. You just get away with everything, don't you? Just running past all the broken people you leave behind. All right. He can kind of relate now. I'm sorry. Is that what you want to hear? Because I am. Okay. It's fucked up. Seeing somebody that you love get hurt like that. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, Huey. Wow. Did you do that? I'll show you again. No, that is not going to happen. A train, get out of here. Not that you deserve the warning. You know, in a way, like his apology was 100% genuine, but he deserved just at least one smack. You know what I mean? Please help me. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Wow, okay, so we can teleport other people. Jesus Christ, all I want is to save you. You keep saying that, but I don't need you to save me. Right, God forbid I help you because I always have to be the weak one. The one you have to no. rescue. You always have to be the strong one. You always have to be so much stronger than me. I thought that you didn't care about that. I mean, on our first date, you said that it didn't bother you. I know, but it does. Yeah. The little. And the fact that he's tasted, like, power now, it's, it's just making it worse. You killed my family. Which one? Wow. Oi, not him. Twins are up there. See, it's like, he didn't kill M.M.'s family on purpose. It was like an accident. The car went through the building, right? So it wasn't like he did it on purpose. I can't let you do it, him. It'd be suicide. Yeah, I feel for him, I really do. This is why I think he'll end up taking the V, maybe. But I don't want him to. You selfish piece of shit! That's enough. I want him to stay human. If you tell me, maybe I'll let you go. It was Noir. It was Noir's idea. Top to bottom, he gave you to the Russians. Please. Noir wouldn't take a shit. Without Vought say so. It's the truth. Wow, okay. Is that why he split? Yeah. Oh. God, is this like a popular song in this fucking universe or something? Oh, 
Oh, fuck. And anyone who survives is going to be human now, right? <laughs> yeah. We gotta talk. Jesus Christ, not right now. There's a psycho back there. I'm fucking decking. You fucking hands off me. You hurt my brother. I'm gonna get away. Not this time. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, he's dead, man. Fucking chill. Yeah, you gotta think about your heart, man. Jesus. No. Really? His final act is that? William Butcher. And soldier boy. Wow, okay. You are behind this. William, we made a deal to fight to the death. This is cheating. Deal's off. You were my hero growing up. You were the only one that was nearly as strong as me. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. You're just a cheap fucking knockoff. I'm the upgrade. Oh shit, are we really gonna do this now? Fuck. Oh, you really had me going for a minute there. <laughs> Oi. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that smile! <laughs> Jesus! See, it just kind of goes to show how powerful Homelander is. That that like the it's two on one, and and it's still like they're struggling. Shit! Okay, three on one. <laughs> Get out of here! No fucking way! He got away. He's still overpowered three of them. That just goes to show how powerful Homelander is. You are not a monster. It seems no matter how much we try to run, we cannot escape our old lives, huh? I suppose no one can run that fast. Fuck, man. Everyone's having amazing moments in this fucking episode. Oh, he got a bruise. The acting in this episode has just been on, like, another level because it's, like... Well, most of, like, the main cast has been given, like, amazing dialogue and, and they've, hit it, they've just nailed it perfect, man. I'm in Montpelier, Vermont. Twelve heroes and civilians are dead. It was Soldier Boy. I know I sound insane, but... Soldier Boy doesn't care about protecting Americans, and he probably never has. Most heroes don't care about you. They only care about their image, and Homelander is the worst of them. He's hurt people. He's done something to Maeve. I don't know what they're going to do to me for telling the truth, but I'm going to keep doing it, 
and I should have done it sooner. I'm sorry. My name is Annie January, and I fucking quit. Oh shit, that next episode, man. Wow, okay, I, oh my god, the next episode is going to be absolutely mental. Shit's really going to hit the fan and there's no Stan Edgar to fix things anymore, you know? My god, what an episode. Like, it's funny, it's like going into it w with all the apparent, like, warnings on Twitter and everything. I would say, as far as, like, the the hero gasm, I think that was really overhyped, to be honest, as far as, like, extreme things. Like, yeah, there was the odd thing with, like, MM being covered in cum and, like, shit like that, yeah, but as far, like, in general, it's, it was all background, it was all background noise, you know what I mean? Um, everything else that was happening was more important to me. You know, that little interaction between A-Train and, and Huey, where A-Train apologised, and he, he did deserve a smack let's be honest but that was amazing i think the fight the fight with soldier boy and homeland and butcher was the best thing about that whole entire fucking oh my god best thing in the whole episode just absolutely outstanding to see them all come face to face and go at it and and that final like realization that Okay, Butcher's got powers now, you know. But like I said, the fact that there was... It was two on one for like the majority of the fight. And they were still struggling to take down and topple Homelander. But for me, the big kind of takeaway was the acting. Like really, there were quite a few scenes where the actors had like... The opportunity to really like convey emotions and, and, and just go to a place where they normally can't, you know, like MM, perfect kind of example, he's always that strong, kind of supportive kind of character, but in that one scene where he, he's talking about how, how his granddad died and, and, and everything, and you saw the tear come down, like it was, it was that moment of kind of like weakness, and, and you actually really felt for him, same thing with uh, Frenchie, just right at the end then, like see him crying and seeing Kamiko try and comfort him it's like you feel for these characters so much and even homelander like that scene of him talking to his reflection like i said it it felt like it was two different actors exchanging dialogue right and you genuinely felt sympathy for the one of them you know you can kind of understand why he does what he does i mean it doesn't excuse any of his actions he's a dick he's an absolute bastard literally the worst kind of character but at the same time he's not like your typical oh he's just a bad guy for the sake of being a bad guy there's reasoning behind it it's understandable it's like if if someone had got through to him like before now if someone had showed him genuine compassion if someone had showed him like genuine like kindness i don't think homelander would be the man that he is now i really don't and yeah, granted, he doesn't make things easy for people to love him, you know, because of his behaviour, you know, behind closed doors. But it's not like he was just born that way. This is something that's gradually grew over time. So it's just really good to see that mirror reflection, you know. And I kind of look at it like the side that got emotional was the human side. His reflection was a soup. You know what I mean? So but the question is like if if homelander loses his powers then what does he become like anthony Starr is such a good actor like could we ever see that could we actually see like homelander become human and him having to deal with not being homelander anymore he's just john you know and maybe see him struggling with stuff like, I don't think we'll actually see it in the course of the show. I think if Homelander loses his powers, it's just going to ultimately lead to him dying in the, like, the same like scene or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing like a vulnerable, scared John trying to cope with being human. Because I think Anthony Starr could do it. Could really need it. Yeah, like I said, the big takeaway from this episode wasn't the fucking... 
Hero Gasm, it was the fucking fight and the acting. Just absolutely amazing, man. But yeah, like I said, next episode, shit's really going to hit the fan, I think. What's the fallout going to be now from Annie's live stream? Could there be like a public outcry for what's happened to Maeve? Where Vought has no other option but to let Maeve free? Maybe they don't even have to rescue her. Maybe just that video alone could rescue her because of the public's like reaction to it. Uh, where's Black Noir gone? Because it seems like he was behind it. Because at first it genuinely seemed like he was just going back to his old team leader, you know? But if you think back to that flashback episode, Black Noir, he was talking, he, he was normal, you know, before the head uh, injury and stuff. So if he had already, like, set that up and arranged for, for Soldier Boy to be kidnapped, then, I mean, it makes sense. But now, like, he, is he conscious and aware of... I don't know, because it's like, we don't know that much about Black Noir. Like, we know that he can't talk. Um, we know that, I guess he doesn't feel pain because he's been injured. Like, maybe that was his thing. Look, like, he just didn't feel anything like honestly like series one and two i actually kind of thought maybe he was autistic you know like he just didn't talk but yet he was kind of like a genius with like playing the piano or maybe with art and shit but clearly he's very self-aware of what's going on for him to cut out his fucking chip and do a runner maybe like over like the next few episodes we'll get a little bit more info on black noir because he's still that like weird character that, that we don't really know a lot about. So, oh man. Um, yeah, I just can't wait for the next episode now. I really can't wait for the next episode. I love this show. I really, really do. Like, you put aside all, all the gore and, and the crazy what-the-fuck moments. You are left with an amazingly written, amazingly acted fucking show. It's so good. Absolutely outstanding, man. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I've got other stuff I want to film today. My God. Okay, I really want to watch the next one, but I have to wait now until Friday. Um, because even though these are going up late on YouTube, I'm actually filming them the weeks that they come out. So I've got to wait until, you know... Um, <laughs> we gotta wait but yeah if you're interested in watching all the full lengths links are all down below and also maybe episode 7 and episode 8 will be up on my Patreon right now links are all down below man but for now give this video a thumb up if you like it comment down below let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already man alright I've been Sith Furion and I'll catch you in the next one man